Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and the current state of my house. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amanda. I'm a stay-at-home mom to four kids, so this is how our house looks quite often. Today was especially bad just because I really haven't been on the ball lately with getting things done. Um, this is Monday and we had a pretty busy weekend. My husband and I have um, been staying pretty busy with some things that we have coming up so I neglected the chores this weekend and today I needed to get everything done that I normally get but also a lot of the messes that I usually stay on top of and the prep that I get done for Sundays I did not get done so today was a little bit more work This video is gonna kind of be all over the place just because it's all of the random things that um, I just needed to accomplish for the day. I'm starting out in the kitchen as you can see. The dishes weren't too bad but I did need to unload the clean ones from last night and right now I'm cleaning up our breakfast mess. I had gone to the gym this morning so it's later in the day. Um, it's like after 11 o'clock at this point and I'm just getting going on everything so it was a little stressful having this mess hanging around but I really wanted to get the kitchen cleaned up. I need to have a clean kitchen. It stresses me out so bad when it's dirty. And the sink is one of the things that, it doesn't matter how busy I am, how much cleaning I need to do, I have to have the sink clean. So even though it kind of seems like an extra task, it sort of seems like one of those more deep cleaning type ones, for me it's not. This is something that I need to have done all the time. I just love a fresh, clean sink. So right now I'm getting that done. All of our kids are here. Uh, we do homeschool if you're new, so my older kids are working on their schoolwork. They are in the back, and I've got the baby down for her nap, so um, I'm getting her high chair cleaned up from her snack. And as you can see, I'm using the Method All Surface Spray and the Grapefruit Scent. I do really love this scent for getting everything cleaned up. I talked about in my Grove Collaborative video that I've got the Caldrea line right now, and I am really loving that. I have the countertop spray in the sea salt neroli scent and um, I do love to have that around to freshen things up but the grapefruit one is still my favorite when it comes to the daily cleaning so that's what I'm using laundry this honestly you guys that load was in there for over a day in the dryer because like I said I just dropped the ball this weekend so I needed to catch up on some laundry and get ahead of that stuff before it piled up because with a family of six it piles up so fast Okay, you guys, so I'm pretty sure this is every parent's worst nightmare. My three-year-old was playing with the Legos. He's almost four, so he's not a young three-year-old, but uh, we have a lot of Legos, and the kids really, really love them. That's why I do let them play with them. They're so creative with them. I love that um, it brings that out in them. So I do allow them to play with them, but this is always the mess that I'm dealing with afterwards. So today wasn't any different. My three-year-old had been in here and he sort of was just going wild with them. And I needed to get these cleaned up because it was almost lunchtime. And I was also racing against the clock to get this cleaned up before my baby woke up because that is one rule that I have uh, implemented now is they can't play with them when she's around just because obviously she's crawling, she's just about walking now, and she's got all of those in her mouth all the time, so we need to get these cleaned up before she woke up. So the big thing that I needed to focus on today were the floors. And with this many kids, they get out of hand so fast. So today I'm gonna to be getting all of everything vacuumed up and then later on I'm gonna be mopping. Right now I've got the soft roller head on. This is the Dyson V10. And I'm gonna be staying off of the carpets, you'll notice, and that's just because I do have the soft roller head on there and that is designed specifically for the non-carpeted surfaces. And then I'm gonna change it and go through and get the carpets. But right now I'm just getting all of the tile throughout the house.
as you can see, I'm not the only one that loves this vacuum. My five-year-old there absolutely loves this thing. He is asking me two or three times every single day if he can vacuum. So I do, um, of course, keep an eye on him. It is a very pricey vacuum, um, so he does do this only under supervision, um, but he does really love to come in and help. He thinks this is a pretty snazzy little tool, and I like to encourage the kids to help out in their chores. So this is usually what's going on when I'm home and we're getting things cleaned up. They like to pitch in and help. So right now I'm just switching out the heads. This is the torque drive head and this is for the carpeted area. So I'm starting here in the living room and then I'm gonna go into the entryway and get the mat in front of the door and I'm gonna get our bedroom area rugs as well. Alright you guys, so this is the kids' playroom. This is upstairs. Um, I have shown it in one of my other videos, so you may have seen it before, but it's basically what was the original master bedroom for the home. Our bedroom downstairs was an addition later on. So up here, we're obviously using it for a guest room as well. I do apologize for the camera angle, you guys. I set the camera angle, or the camera up, and completely forgot about it, so it doesn't move from this spot, and I do apologize for that, but I just got totally sucked into getting this place cleaned up. I don't come in and clean the playroom every single day. This is probably something that I do once a week, I would say, but it was just an awful mess, and it's so much harder for the kids to come in and play when it's a mess. I've noticed they're a lot more willing to come in and play and get creative if it's a cleaner space. If it's a mess, I think it just overwhelms them too much, and they really resist coming in and playing. So I do like to try to keep ahead of it once a week or so, and then I'm using our old vacuum that's now been designated for all of our upstairs areas and going through and getting everything cleaned up. So now the kids are down for quiet time and I wanted to get the mopping done just because the floors had gotten so bad over the past few days. I do usually wait to mop until later in the day, um, most of the time late afternoon or even after dinner a lot of times just because you mop and with little kids it feels like the second they start eating again the floors are a filthy mess. Um, but today I wanted to get it done just because it was pretty gross to walk on and look at. And this is a quiet mop. This is the Bissell Spin Wave, and uh, it's something that I can do during quiet time and it doesn't disrupt the kids. Mm -hmm. 
All right, you guys, so at this point, I'm just starting on getting our laundry put away. I don't really need to fold anything. We hang all of our clothes, we don't have dressers. So really, I just need to sort it all and then get it back into our closet. After quiet time is done for the kids, I'm gonna head upstairs to put their laundry away. Thank you for watching, you guys. Um, like I said, this was just a day when I just needed to hit the random stuff that had gotten out of hand. I hope you guys found it motivational. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you around. I am doing cleaning and mom content and and I'm sprinkling in some of our life stuff here and there. So I'd love to have you join. Thanks for watching, you guys.